Hi, this is Larry Jordan. The following is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on managing media in Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to trash Final Cut 10's preference files. Two more things I want to show you. One is how to trash your Final Cut preferences. To do trashing Final Cut preferences, always, always quit out of Final Cut. Always. The first rule is you only trash preferences when Final Cut is not behaving. If Final Cut's working, leave your preference files alone. Second rule is always quit Final Cut before trashing preferences. The third rule is always trash both preference files as a group. Don't trash one or the other, trash them both. And the fourth rule is when you're done, always empty the trash. It's not enough to flag them for deletion. They need to be gone. So Final Cut is not running. Hold the Option key down, and when you hold the Option key down, a new choice appears in the Go window. It only appears when you hold the Option key down. Select the Library window, scroll down to where you see Preferences, and open up Preferences. Look for two files. One is called com.apple.finalcut.plist and the other is called com.apple.finalcutsharedfilelistplist. These two. Final Cut Pro means Final Cut 7. Final Cut means Final Cut 10. Final Cut Pro has four preference files. Final Cut 10 has two. com.apple.finalcut.plist and com.apple.finalcut.lssharedfilelist.plist. Then trash them both. The easiest way to trash them is to right mouse click and say move to trash. Once you've trashed them, go up to Finder and say empty the trash. At that point, you've now reset Final Cut back to its default state, and the problems that you were experiencing in most cases will be fixed. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on media management inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 109. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 600 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. And thanks.